because of the Lord's covenant and ancestral laws, the saints of God persevered in loving brotherhood, but there was always one spirit in them and one faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, so that we may prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Father, who called St. Francis Xavier Cabrini from Italy to serve the immigrants of America, by her example, teach us to have concern for the stranger, the sick, and all those in need. And by her prayers, help us to see Christ in all the men and women we meet. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the second letter of St. John. I rejoice greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. But now, ladies, I ask you, not as though I were writing a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning, let us love one another. For this is love, that we walk according to his commandments, this is the commandment, as you heard from the beginning, in which you should walk. Many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. Such is the deceitful one and the Antichrist. Look to yourselves that you do not lose what we work for, but may receive a full recompense. Anyone who is so progressive as not to remain in the teaching of the Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in the teaching has the Father and the Son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your command. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Blessed, Blessed are they who follow, follow the law of the Lord. Open my eyes, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building on the day when Lot left Sodom. Fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them, and likewise in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the life, the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together, and one will be taken, the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This gospel reading kind of refers to the thing that we, or many Protestants call the, the rapture. Uh, several years ago, there was a whole series called the, the Left Behind series, how some were taken and some were, were left behind. Well, we as Catholics don't n necessarily believe um, in the rapture because we believe in the possibility of redemption. But the reality is, is that, that that is life. I mean, in the, what Jesus is saying is that because of people's choices, some will go to heaven and some will not go to heaven because of the choices they've made in their lives. So the two are, are kind of reconcilable. Today we remember someone who made a lot of good choices in her life, um, Mother Cabrini, Mother Frances Cabrini. She uh, was born in Italy, but she immigrated to the United States and became a citizen. And she lived in Chicago, but in many places in the in the U.S. and then even in South America, she founded the Missionary Sisters of the Most Holy Trinity, and they, I think they opened up like 60-something different schools and institutions, many of which are still around today, primarily to serve uh, immigrants. And one of the great things that the Catholic school system did with early, the early immigrants was that it gave them such good educations that, that many of them were able to rise up out of of poverty and, and be very, in fact, mo many of the people in Congress and places like that grew up uh, as immigrants in, in Catholic schools. And so today we remember especially Mother Cabrini and the good work that she did in educating so many uh, and caring for so many young people. She was also the first, uh, she became a U.S. citizen, she was the first U.S. citizen to, to be canonized. Uh, and she was canonized, I can't remember, I think it was back in like the 1940s or, or early 50s. But today we remember Mother Cabrini and the great work that she did to educate the poor and the immigrants. Let us pray. Let us pray for Pope Francis, Archbishop Coakley, and all of those who lead the church, that they may be filled with grace and wisdom and humility. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for peace in the world, for an end to violence and terrorism and for a greater respect for human life from conception until natural death. We pray to the Lord for greater unity within our nation, our church, our families, our communities, that we may learn to work together for the good of all people. We pray to the Lord for the end of this pandemic and all the damage that it is continuing to cause and the suffering that it is causing for so many people. We pray to the Lord for all of those who are sick, that they may know and feel the heal healing power of God, we pray to the Lord. And for those who have died, remember especially Carla Richter and Paul Benin, for them and all the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. And for those prayers we hold within the silence of our hearts.
pray to the Lord. Almighty God, we ask you to hear these prayers and those that we hold in our hearts. Continue to show us your mercy and your love, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Look with favor on, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Remember especially Mark Funke and Diane Kopenspire and all those named in the Book of the Dead. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The disciples recognized the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace and integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. For the end of this pandemic and all the damage that it is causing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Blessed Stanley Rother, 